and show you how you can help your child to learn the percentage using the simplest method in within five minutes. Okay, now to solve the percentage problems, we're gonna use a VIP method. So what does VIP method stands for? Now V stands for the value, I stands for the initial, and P stands for the percentage. Okay, so let's use an example to see how we can apply the VIP method in solving the percentage problem. Okay, let's use a triangle to represent the VIP formula. Now to find the initial, you have to take the value divided by the percentage. Right? Now to find the percentage, you're going to take the value divided by the initial. And how about finding the values? You're supposed to take the initial multiply by the percentage. Alright, so let's use an example to see how we shall apply this uh, VIP method in solving simple percentage problems. Now first example, what is 20% of $200? Let's apply the VIP method. Now to find the values, we're going to take the initial to multiply by the percentage. And hence, we have $200, which is the initial, and the percentage is 20%. Now we're going to change this 20% to a fraction, which is 20 out of 100. Now to solve this, we're going to cancel the zeros from the 200 and the zeros from the denominator, right? So as a result, it gets you to 20 times 2 and that will be $40. Alright, so now let's take a look at another example to see how we should calculate the percentage by using the VIP formula. Now to find the percentage, you're going to use the value and divide by the initial and multiply by 100%. Now, for example, what percentage is $50 out of $200? So first of all, we're going to take the 50 divided by 200 and we have to multiply by 100% in order to find the percentage. We're going to cancel the common zeros and hence it gives us 50 divided by 2 which gives you an answer of 25%. Alright, so let's take a look at another, another third example whereby we are going to find the initial value using the VIP method again. For example, in a school, 25% of the teachers teach basic math. If there are 50 basic math teachers, how many teachers are there in the school? Now, in order to apply the VIP formula, over here we have V to represent the 50 math teachers and P to represent the 25%. So to find the initial, we're going to take the value and divide by the percentage. Now in order to find I, we can see that I is equivalent to V divided by P. All right, V divided by P. So therefore, we have 50 divided by 25 and you have to multiply by 100. All right, so this gives you 200 teachers. All right, so this is how you should use the VIP method to solve the percentage problems. I hope this helps and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you need more questions, do check it out on the link below.